What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today's video is pretty much just me talking. There's some stuff that I want to get off my chest. Last week I did a video saying that Red Dead Online is broken and that is because you are unable to get money, gold or XP from the bounty hunter role and it is near enough. It's a 50-50 chance of whether or not you can actually set up your camp and if you cannot set up your camp it means you cannot go down a trader role. So out of the three roles, two of them were not really worth doing. The collect the role was the only one worth doing and it's the one that's had the least amount of bugs and also it does give out very very good money but if that is something that you're not wanting to do and you're wanting to go and progress through all three or you're wanting to go and focus on one of the other roles it has been a massive issue now for the last week it seems that the bounty hunter role has been a lot better i'm now able to go and get money gold and xp from the individual bounties as well as i can still now go and do it through the legendary bounties if you guys are still having problems with that let me know in the comments down below but for me personally it does seem like it has been a bit better and it seems like you guys are not complaining about it as much which makes me think that it's been fixed so if that has been fixed credit to rockstar for actually getting that fixed and i genuinely mean that that's not me being sarcastic or anything i genuinely mean thank you for getting that fixed but there are still problems the camp is still a massive issue where you try to go and call your camp in and go and set it up and it just flashes and i don't know whether or not it's getting worse or whether or not i'm just trying to set my camp up more often now compared to what I was doing over the last couple of weeks. But instead of me complaining about those things, the next biggest complaint is the amount of animal spawns within Red Dead. It seems like it has been reduced massively and over the course of the year, it has been the change of currency within Red Dead Online of how much money you can get through animals. High quality animals like cougars and panthers, they have been reduced massively with their spawns. And now with this update, it seems like there are some areas which used to be very, very good to go hunting it is now just impossible to go and find animals at first i thought this was just me i thought it was just one of those things where sometimes i'll go into a lobby and then i won't see an animal for say 10 minutes as soon as i change lobby i can then go and find some animals i thought it was on a lobby to lobby basis but now there are a lot of other people saying it as well which makes me think that the animal spawn rate has been reduced massively the biggest place that i find this a problem is when i'm going to do a production mission and it goes and asks me to go and get a certain animal Animal, which then I need to go and bring to another trader and then that trader will then go and give me supplies which I can then go and take back to my camp and the problem that I have with this is when it goes and asks for an animal such as a bison normally this only happens when I set up my camp within the heartlands or I go and set it up within blackwater those are the two main areas of where you can go and get bison this is around about a 10 to 15 minute mission where it asks for me to go and get a bison go and take it to a trader and then that trader will then go and give me supplies which then I'll take back to my camp but the problem is there are some moments where I cannot go and find a bison. Now with me, my logic is thinking that I might as well stay around this area because I know bison spawn in Blackwater. I could go and spend my time traveling all the way over to Valentine, all the way over to the Heartlands, go and get a bison hide, go and store that in the back of my hunting wagon or on the back of my horse, and then go and travel all the way back to Blackwater. But there is still no guarantee that by the time I go all the way over there to go and find a bison, that a bison bison will actually go and spawn in which means with these types of missions I end up just wasting my time and I'd end up just sitting there waiting for a bison to spawn in it's not a fun mission to go and do and in the end I do not even get my supplies what I end up doing is staying around Blackwater or around that area and trying to trick the game that I've only just came into that area and that hopefully it will spawn some bisons in but unfortunately to this day it still hasn't worked and I've done a lot of these supply missions but not just with these missions it's it's just the whole world of Red Dead Online. It seems like animal spawns have been reduced massively. Yet again, the amount of cougars that spawn in has been reduced a lot. And it's a shame to go and see that we are now having animals pretty much going extinct within this game. When this game first came out, I used to know like so many different cougar locations as well as different panther locations. I have not came across a panther within Red Dead Online for pretty much months. And that's not to do with this online update, but I'm just saying this is the way that it's heading with less and less animals spawning in. Now I understand Rockstar want to go and push these new modes and I understand that balancing is a thing, but animals are pretty much going extinct within a game. And if you're someone like me, which I do spend pretty much all my time hunting, even if I go into the collector role, if I have a treasure map and I'm gonna go to a set location of where there's a collectible to go, on the way I'm gonna hunt and kill every single animal I come across, skin it to go and store it on the back of my horse, or go and store the animal parts within my satchel. Later on, I'm then gonna go and take that to my 
camp where I can go and donate the animal parts to cribs or I'm gonna go and sell it at the butcher. Hunting is the thing that kinda makes traveling fun for me within Red Dead Online and the fact that we're getting less and less animals has just made it a lot worse in my opinion. Anyway, this is just a bit of a rant, something that I really wanna talk about and I've seen a lot of people complain about it as well. So I'm listening to your guys' comments and I feel the exact same way and I hope it does change. With the production missions, I hope that either we get more animals spawned in or that the timer for you to go and complete that mission has just been gone. So scrap the timer in total, which means I can then take my time to then go all the way over to Valentine the Heartlands to then go and get a bison to then go and bring it all the way back to Blackwater. I feel like either one of those is a solution, but the one that I want the most is being able to see more animals within Red Dead Online because it has been reduced. But let me know in the comments down below of what you guys think. I am just one guy and this is only one guy's opinions and I want to hear your guys' opinions as well. Do you think animals actually have been reduced or do you feel like it's just one of those things where as you go into a lobby, there's some lobbies with a lot more animals than others or it's just one of those things where you've been hunting for so long, you then have a moment where it's like a five, maybe seven minute break and because you've been hunting so much and then you go into this area where there isn't that much, that you now see it as a place where there's not as many animals that have spawned in and you've seen it as a thing that Rockstar have reduced the amount of animals. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya. Thank you.